What's up guys, Joshua at Tracks RC, and in today's video we are going to be attempting to water skip the trash peed again. So for those of you that don't know, last summer I attempted to water skip this RC and it really did not work, even with paddle tires and the brushless system and everything that I did to it. It still didn't work, the front tires were too much of an issue, so that's why T-Bone Racing decided to send me their skis for Traxxas two-wheel drive models. So I think that these skis right here are going to make water skipping possible with this Stampede two-wheel drive, at least in my case, because I already got the brushless system and I got paddle tires and of course I have the wheelie bar right here with the wheels removed and a flat bottom and then I just have this little leash right here with a GoPro handle on the end so it floats. It's really just the same setup as we did in the last attempt where we water skipped this last year and the only difference is the skis of course. So huge thank you to TBR for sending me these skis, it's greatly appreciated and I hope that we can work together in the future. So that's pretty much it that's done to this RC for water skipping. Of course I got the little water bottle right there for flotation and then the battery is just in a ziplock. I am running on 3S today and uh, yeah that's a about it let's slap the body on and then plug everything up get the car running and let's get the first attempt done this should be pretty cool i think and i think for the first attempt we're going to start up here and then work our way down and then go across this section right here because that's what we did in the last video and it kind of worked and it kind of didn't so we're going to do that first to see if it's possible with the skis on <laughs> Well boys, that definitely worked. It literally jumped into the water. It's very hard to turn. So, is the steering locked up? Yeah, the steering's locked up all the way. <laughs> all the way to one side. I bet the skis just pushed it. I'll worry about that in a second. But yeah, it definitely worked. It like jumped in the water and then it went across a little bit. Let's try it again, see if that one works. <laughs> All right guys, that one worked pretty good. I came in, I mean you can see my tracks right there. Came in right there, went right across, and I couldn't get it to turn, so I just beached it right here, but that worked really good. Let's see if we can make it across the whole pond, honestly. I'm gonna try to avoid the fountain, but let's just see what happens. What's the worst can, that can happen? So yeah, let's get this set up. We're gonna try to go across the whole pond. Alright guys, so the issue that we're having right now is that the sand is pretty rough. There's not really a smooth way that we can come in at. But the issue that just happened is that the screws that hold the ski on just ripped out from that tumble that we just had. So I'm going to have to look through my parts to see if I have any screws that are going to fit. But I'll put you guys back on when uh, we get this thing back up and running. I'm also noticing that there's like sand in the ski. And maybe that's why I'm having a few issues right now. Maybe I just got to wash it out a little bit to get it smooth again. It's a little bit better already. That one's not bad at all now. But yeah, the runway is just really not that smooth. So I'm gonna fix this and put you guys back on in a second. All right guys, so a little bit of an update here on some stuff I just fixed. Uh, first of all, as you guys have been seeing, the screws right here ripped out. So I ended up putting longer ones on both sides and then backed them with a nut. And then in the last attempt that you guys saw, so ended up breaking the left caster block right there, just cracked at the bottom. So I put an RPM one on it. I probably should get aluminum ones if I'm gonna run these skis, but I also need to get rid of these things right here with the C-clips. I need to get one that goes all the way up. And ideally, I'd be able to back it with a nut, but you just can't get one in there and there's no threads on those. So the next thing I need to do before we get our next run in is free up the skis a little bit. There's just some sand in there that aren't really allowing them to rotate. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we could get our next run done. I'm actually gonna try not to do it in the sand this time. I'm either gonna do it 
coming in right here or all the way over there there is a little flat spot down there and there's not going to be a ton of run up but i think i'm going to try it right here first <laughs> All right guys, so that worked really good. Um, the only thing is I did not slow down at the end and I broke the ski off when it hit the wall. So I wanna start over there again. I really like starting over there. And then we're gonna go all the way down and end down there, hopefully. Alright guys, so after many challenges today, I think this may be it. It won't move, but the gears are spinning, so so I'm thinking that there's something going on in the trans, and I just do not want to take that apart right now. Um, if you guys want to see another video where we go across the whole pond, hopefully, without any issues, definitely comment below. I think it's so possible. So possible. I just got to get the front end strengthened up a little bit to handle the weight of the skis folding back if they do. Uh, basically, I just need to upgrade the casters and all that, but, and then I need to take apart the trans, see what's going on in there. So, I'm probably gonna do another video on this, going across the whole pond, hopefully, but let me know if you guys wanna see that. But, I mean, just these skis worked so well on the water. Not that great in the sand, that's what I figured out. I can't really get a ton of run up, or else the faster it goes, the more it just wants to, like, bury it under. But so far, my only complaint on these skis is, because of that, how they like to fold under, it breaks all this stuff in here. I broke two casters today, the stock ones. So both of them are RPM ones now. But the reason why I think it likes to fold back and catch is because there's not like enough lip right here at the top. It's not that steep and it doesn't go up very high. So if it was more curved, I feel like that would be a little bit better. But I mean, they're wide enough for the water. Definitely, I found that out. They worked really well going across and the paddles just propelling it forward just floats right on top. As long as there's no buoys in the way or anything like that, it works really well. And I also wish that the screws right here were just a tad bit longer. I ended up putting longer ones in anyways and backing them with a nut right there. And so that seemed to help a lot. But yeah, so far those are my only complaints about the skis. Again, huge thank you to T-Bone Racing for sending those out to me. I greatly appreciate it. So guys, that's really it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like, share it with others so I can grow my channel. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. I, 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 I